This is August Dennis Sports Scene, a weekly update on Viking Athletics at South Dakota's largest private college. Now, let's catch up on the action and excitement of Augustana Athletics as we roll our Augustana Sports Update for this week. Last weekend, Coach Dave Krause, number six ranked Augustana women's basketball team, up their record to 9-0 and 5-0 in the NSIC with a pair of road victories. The Vikings got past Winona State 56-47 and pummeled Upper Iowa 98-69. In the Winona win, Augustana shot a season low 33%, but held the Warriors to just 23% shooting in the defensive battle. The Vikings led 21-18 at halftime and grabbed their biggest lead of the game at 40-25 on two Emily Schulte free throws with 13-22 to play. Winona rallied to get within 47-45 with 2.26 left, but a Schulte three-pointer and Sean Tita Ashley's free throws down the stretch sealed the victory. Ashley's 16 points and nine rebounds paced Augustana. Lydia Nelson and Alex Feeney added 10 points each. Then on Saturday, the Vikings broke loose for a 59-point second-half effort to run past Upper Iowa. Alex Feeney scored a season-high 24 points to lead the way. Sean Tita Ashley tallied 18 points and dished out eight assists, while Emily Schulte added 15 points and Riley Norgard 14. Andrea Whitney pulled down nine rebounds. The Augustana ladies off to their best start since the 1996-97 season nailed 16 of 33 three-pointers on their way to the 29-point victory. In men's basketball, Coach Tom Billiter's team split a pair of NSIC road games. The Vikings dropped a 70-56 game to preseason favorite Winona State before coming back for an impressive 71-64 win over a tough Upper Iowa team. In the game at Winona, Augustana trailed 34-25 at halftime before rallying in the second half to close within 59-55 with four minutes to play. But the Warriors pulled away in the final minutes to gain the home court win. Cameron McCaffrey led the Vikings with 20 points with Casey Schilling scoring 11. Schilling also had four steals while Zach Houston claimed seven rebounds. Then on Saturday, Augustana showed a lot of character as they won a hard-fought game at Upper Iowa. The Vikings started fast and led 38-29 at halftime. The Peacocks came back to take a three-point lead with about six mixed minutes left to play. But Augustana battled back down the stretch to move their record to 8-1 overall and 4-1 in the NSIC. Cameron McCaffrey's 20 points, six assists, and four steals sparked the Vikings. Casey Schilling added 11 points and nine rebounds. And last week, Augustana made the announcement that Jerry Olszewski will be the Vikings' new head football coach. Coach O.J. is a Wisconsin native. He spent seven years at the Division II level as an assistant football coach at Minnesota State Mankato. The past five years, Coach O.J. was the head coach at St. Olaf College in Northfield, Minnesota. Olszewski posted a 32-18 record with the Oles, including a 15-5 mark the past two years. That's our sports update for this week. We'll be right back with men's basketball coach, Tom Billiter. Stay with us. August Anna Sports Scene is brought to you by Sanford Health, improving the human condition, and by Mid-Continent Communications, part of our community, part of your life. August Anna Sports Scene is also brought to you by Graham Automotive, real service, real value. making it look easy. Show renewed strength. Whether it's our physicians, therapists, or athletic trainers, Sanford offers the finest and most integrated orthopedic team and services around. There's nothing he couldn't lift right now. For the everyday competitor in all of us, Sanford Orthopedics and Sports Medicine. Meet Rob Moore from Aberdeen, South Dakota. As a mid-continent service manager, he makes sure our service techs have the tools to keep customers ahead of the technology game. Rob also keeps busy coaching youth football, teaching kids both the fundamentals of the game and good sportsmanship. Looks like Rob's a game changer in more ways than one. I'm Rob Moore, and we're good people here in Aberdeen. Hey, look. Shooting star. Make a wish. I wish we could lie here forever. 
I wish this test drive was over, so we could head back to the dealership. It's practically yours. Test drive. But we still need your signature. Volkswagen Sign and Drive is back, and it's never been easier to get a Jetta. That's the power of German engineering. Joining me now is Augustana men's basketball coach, Tom Billiter. Well, Tom, last weekend, the Vikings' first road trip of the year, a tough one to Winona and to Upper Iowa. We came away with a split, and uh, the Vikings battled hard. Yeah, you know, always we've gone somewhere on an exhibition game or done something, and we didn't even have a you know, scrimmage at any place. We just, we've never been left the, the friendly confines of Wrigley Field here. And so we, we just, uh, you know, got on the bus and went and played a preseason top 10 team in the country. I thought we played very well. We can play better, uh, but we're down four with three minutes to go and had an opportunity to, to be right there at the end and a chance to win it. And then we let it get away from us. They had some big shots and they did what they had to do as a good veteran ball club. Uh, they went, you know, Vetti scored the majority of his mm -hmm. points late. Um, there were some things they did, and they won the game. And, and uh, but you know, I, I felt like we competed. I thought we did some very good things for the first time on the road. And I thought there were some things we can definitely get better at as quickly as they had to in order to come back and play Upper Iowa the next night. Well, it'll be an interesting game here at the Elman Center when Winona State comes back. Uh, certainly a veteran team, but. That was a hard-fought game, Tom, and the Vikings showed up well. And they'll add Grant Johnson, who mm -hmm. will be a nice piece of the puzzle for them because right. he does a lot of things that will help Betty even be tougher to guard, in my opinion. So yeah. they're only going to get better. But, yeah, it'll be a great game. And I don't even think about it. Think of, you know, you finally get past the team, and you're like, oh, geez, you got to do it again. Mm -hmm. It's one thing about football that's a right. little bit nicer. You play them once a year. Yeah. Well, then uh, on to Upper Iowa. And Upper Iowa fans, as we've told you, a very good basketball team. They were undefeated in the NSIC. In come the young Vikings. Tremendous victory Saturday, Tom. Yeah, you know, I, I really and truly, um, we had a great walkthrough. And this team seems to play well when they have a good walkthrough. But we come over late that night. You know, was, you know, late night got in, I don't know, midnight, 1 in the morning, got them to bed. Um, not a lot of distractions at Fayette, so <laughs> that was good. And, you know, we just had a really good noon walkthrough. Uh, had a good pregame meal. I could tell they were ready. I never felt that we weren't going to play well. They were really sharp for being the second night and first trip ever Friday, Saturday for you know, JT and Zach and Dan mm -hmm. and Casey. This is their first right. time doing this. And so um, played them hard, jumped to an early 24-7 lead. And, and when you can get a 17-point lead, you need it. Because I think you remember two years ago, we were really good, top 10, 15 in the country at the time. We had a 20-point lead in the right. second half, and they came back and beat us. So um, not an easy place to play, not an easy place to obviously keep a lead and thought we did a great job of falling behind and getting right back in it, and ended up winning by seven. We were down three with about right. four minutes to go. We ended up winning by seven. That's a 10-point swing. Well, watching it, uh, listening to it, uh, you know, here comes Upper Iowa, and you know they're going to make a run, and they keep making a run, and they eventually catch up with us. They get ahead of us, and, of course, you're going, uh-oh, you know, now what? And here, here it's gut check time, Tom. Well, yeah, and we didn't your even, guys, your we guys? had no guts to check. They yeah. were spewed all over the court. <laughs> they gave me all they well, had. Well, they checked what they had Yeah, left. but we had to pull some off the court and shove it back in them because we had just really left it out there. And and so, um, you know, Yuri Meloshenko hits a huge mm -hmm. three to tie it at 58. We were down 58, 55. And Bill, you, you coached for years. You have a 17-point lead at one time, and you have a nine-point lead at the half. You extend it back to 14, and then it shrinks, and it goes. Mm -hmm. You tighten up. You start. Start. What a what a win, you know, to yeah. come back and, and to tie it and then to extend the lead and actually want it going away. I mean, right. really, uh, Cam hit a huge three uh, with a few seconds on the shot clock, make it 66-60, and it was never in doubt after that. And, and uh, really, really good win, great way to go into Christmas. You tied mm -hmm. for first place, 8-1, and one, young team. Uh, gone to two tough places to play on the road, and uh, great opportunity now, six or seven practices, to get better at all facets of which we have to. Well, you know, everybody is so excited about your young guys, and, and certainly... I am too, and you are too, but we kind of take Cam McCaffrey for granted. Wow, what a weekend. Well, yeah, teams aren't. You know, he's getting best defender doubled on everything. Uh, he's everyone's attention. I mean, there's a couple times in both games he's going to the lane, and there's five guys in the lane. It's amazing the attention he's drawing. He's still had two, 20 points both nights. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, six assists the second night. I mean, he's doing all the things we need out of a point guard, yet scoring. Um, leading us to victory, being very calm, believe it or not, you know, during timeouts, during uh, free throw situations, dead balls, he's settling people down. Um, you know, there were times we're great against presses. We love to be pressed. It's it's something that we want to attack and score. We, we've been funny with it this year. Well, we're young. Well, we got, you know, now we're better at it. And there were right. certain times 
you know, that helped win us the game against Upper Iowa. So, you know, that's Cam's doing again and just kind of settling people down, saying run the press O. And when we did, we got great looks and really helped us. So he's really come a long way. And a lot of contributions from other guys, certainly uh, along the line, a great uh, Casey team. Schilling, 11 yeah. and 9. Yeah. Team victory. Uh, Yuri, as you mentioned, came yep. in, played a very good game for us. Dan Jansen, and, double uh, figures yep. almost every night. And Zach Huskin, 7.7 right. 7 boards. You know, uh, Tom, uh, the, uh, we're only five games into the NSIC as we go to the Christmas <laughs> like break March. here, and everybody's got a loss. We're sitting at four and one, so are a bunch of other teams. It's going to be a <laughs> especially our division, a, a battle. Our division's phenomenal. You know, it just is. It's just incredible, and and I think that you know we're just going to be continuously beating each other up. But there are no easy ones, and you know that's just the way it's going to be. And it's okay. But I'm just you're right. It's going to be a it's going to be quite of a post-Christmas run here for somebody, yeah. and we'll see where everybody ends up. Well, 17 big ones after the holidays, fans. Get ready. It's going to be a lot of fun. Coach, thanks for being with us yep, all these days. Great Christmas, Grove. Happy Everyone holidays out to there. you and your yeah. family. Thank you. One, two, three, break. Today, we come together, united as a human family. Today, we share the same stage, the same commitment, the same dream. Today is not just about the ceremony, the flags raised at the end. It's about what it takes to get there, the commitment, the finest training, and digging deep when the moment depends on it. Today we come together to improve the human condition. With 25 years of experience and an outstanding trio of dentists, Doctors Bernal, Fayok, and Swingdorf, along with their caring team at Sensational Smiles, are passionate about developing long-lasting relationships. Sensational Smiles will partner with you to keep your teeth clean for a lifetime. Also check out our Cavity Free Club for Kids with Sammy, our mascot, at SensationalSmilesForYou.com. Call 332-4751 now for a Sensational Smile every day. You can be part of... Something Bigger. As Sioux Empire Federal Credit Union, you'll have more than a place to do your banking. As a member of Sioux Empire Federal Credit Union, you'll receive interest refunds on your loans, actual cash back every month. They're the loan leaders. They even gave their members over $91,000 back last year. And no hoops to jump through. Just a place to do your banking, where you are the focus, not profit. Sioux Empire Federal Credit Union. Yesterday's values, tomorrow's technology. Midconet Extreme Wideband. Three levels of extremely fast connections with exceptional capacity to choose from. Extreme 1.0. Exciting speeds that start out faster than anyone in the region. Extreme 2.0. Exhilarating speed for gaming or streaming. Extreme 3.0. Extraordinary speed for the whole house. It's among the nation's fastest. Three extreme speeds. Only from Midconet Extreme Wideband. Build your own bundle and save today. Xisnext.com. We're back, and with me now is Augustana women's basketball coach Dave Kraut. Well, Dave, last weekend the Vikings hit the road. Tough trip during finals. Uh, took on Winona State on Friday night. Battled Upper Iowa on Saturday, and we came away with two wins. Um, you got to be pleased with that. Well, I mean, I, and I still kind of you know go with the old adage that if you know if you can go you know win as many as you can at home, but split on the road it's usually a pretty good formula and I don't know anymore as our as our region expands mm -hmm. and, and uh, more automatics and those things coming if that's gonna gonna work but uh, to go on the road and get two is is just uh, makes for an awful nice ride home yeah it sure was and uh, good wins for the Vikings who remain undefeated 9-0 and overall 5-0 and in the NSIC let's start with the Winona game sort of an ugly one Dave but we came out on top <laughs> 56-47. Very similar, I think, uh, to when we played them at their place last year. Uh, both teams just seemed so familiar with each other that it was probably a combination of pretty good defense and then, you know, just not good shooting. And then on our end, uh, especially in the first half, we had, you know, so many around the basket looks mm -hmm. that we couldn't get down. and just felt like we had an opportunity to get ourselves a lead that we didn't. So, you, didn't, you know, I mean, I'm thinking, well, just going to come back to haunt us. Right. Well, some big plays down the stretch. I think Winona got it to within two. Emily Schulte hit a huge three, and then Shantiva Ashley came through, and she had a great ball game. Yeah, Shantiva, I think, uh, was really the one of our, our, you know, probably all of our rotation where I felt had a good, uh, solid ball game, both ends of the court. Uh, you mentioned Emily, uh, you know, she... Didn't, didn't have a, a big offensive night, but that was a big basket that she hit. Uh, and actually, you know, 
prior to that to, to get us our lead, Alex Feeney, you know, struggled, but she had a little flurry mm -hmm. that helped us get a lead, and right. then we hung on to it, and, and it stretched out a little bit at the end again. Well, a big road win for the Vikings, and uh, we lamented, uh, you know, the defensive battle. Augie shooting 33%, but Winona shot 23 so... Great defensive effort, Coach. Put her in the books. Yes, it's a win. That's exactly All right. right. So then it was on to Upper Iowa down in Fayette. Kind of a dangerous game because they hadn't been doing very well. We're undefeated, and uh, first half kind of started that way, Dave. Well, uh, and, and I don't know if I felt like we played that badly, but uh, you know they have a hard team to uh, match up with, and and you know we really haven't zoned much. And I, as I watched and you look at their stats, it might be a team that you ought to try to zone a little bit but uh, we played them straight up they got to the free throw line a ton which is what they try to do and and it was pretty even you know through a half but uh, we heated up in the second yeah 59 points second half 16 out of 33 three pointers in that one Dave that uh, that makes a coach feel good well and it just you know when you're knocking down shots it just forgives all the other either mistakes or ills of the the ball game and and it really went that way particularly like i said that second half uh and we just started the second half with uh three or four quick you know and i think three of the four were threes and uh you know that it does make coaching easier right. and and helps you relax a little bit well we're into the uh break here the vikings don't come back and play till we host minnesota state mankato on january 4th and then concordia on january 5th um Dave, every school is five games into it. The Vikings are the only undefeated team at 5-0. and all. It's still, you know, 17 games to go and a big weekend for us right away after Christmas. Yeah, it'll be, uh, it'll be one of those where this is the longest extended break that uh, we'll have ever had, at least in my tenure, and, and some of that is NCAA dictated. Mm -hmm. uh, but the way our conference schedule right. played out, it made for a long one. So hopefully our kids will take it seriously that they've got to you know, be personally responsible during that break. And, and like I said, then we'll come back after the break with uh, a tough weekend. Yeah. Well, Dave, thanks for being with us all these days. Congratulations on the season. Happy holidays. Thank you. You too, Bill. How do you hold a moment? Keep friends and family close. Witness the passage of time. Replay the glory days. Relive magical nights create memories to share. How do you capture a lifetime? One picture at a time. Life Touch, photography for a lifetime. Timing means everything here at Sanford, where experts have the skill to make split second decisions when life hands you the unexpected. It takes a team to be the best, prepared and connected to a network of care life-saving treatments ready before you ever need us your heart our hands connected Sanford Heart there you go All right. good night you too I'm going to dream about that steak I'm gonna dream about that tiramisu what a night huh but um, can the test drive you over now Head back to the dealership. Oh, yeah. It's practically yours. Sorry. But we still need your signature. Volkswagen Sign Then Drive is back, and it's never been easier to get a Passat. That's the power of German engineering. You can be part of... Something bigger. As Sioux Empire Federal Credit Union, you'll have more than a place to do your banking. As a member of Sioux Empire Federal Credit Union, you'll receive interest refunds on your loans, actual cash back every month, they're the lone leaders. They even gave their members over $91,000 back last year. And no hoops to jump through. Just a place to do your banking, where you are the focus, not profit. Sioux Empire Federal Credit Union. Yesterday's values, tomorrow's technology. Joining me now is Augustana's new head football coach, Jerry Ashevsky. Jerry, it's great to have you on Augustana Sports Scene. Great to have you in Sioux Falls. Great to have you at Augustana College. We're going to talk about a few things today, but to begin with, Coach, uh, tell the folks out there a little bit about yourself. Uh, it's great to be here as well, Bill. Thank you. Uh, native of Wisconsin, uh, Green Bay area, uh, Menasha, Wisconsin, tucked down in the valley. Uh, was, uh, went to college at UW-Stevens Point and uh, had an opportunity to go for my master's degree at uh, Mankato, MSU Mankato, and uh, got a professional life going there at that time. 
I uh, got into the coaching ranks and, and cut my teeth in the old NCC and, uh, and just loved it and knew that's what I was going to do the rest of my life. Took a stint out in California uh, for a bit as a coordinator and, and, uh, and had some time to move back into Wisconsin and go to my alma mater uh, it was at Stevens Point and then landed back ironically at, at uh, Mankato again where I uh, had an opportunity after I was done coaching to go and work at the uh, YMCA. Took four mm -hmm. years off of my career and, and uh, had, had a couple children and, and uh, uh, my wife and I settled in and, and as the CEO of the Y really got engaged in that community and it was just an awesome experience. I really grew as a human being and, and professionally learned a lot of things mm -hmm. that the coaching profession doesn't necessarily provide. So, uh, and then went to uh, St. Olaf. Yeah, mm -hmm. an opportunity to go to St. Olaf and, and it's just, a, it's been a whirlwind and, and now the blessing that is uh, Augustana College. I'm looking forward to moving my wife, Dina, and my three children, Chet, Jersey, and JJ, uh, to the Sioux Falls community and get engaged in, in making this a better place. Well, uh, <clears throat> we are certainly glad to have you here, Coach. Uh, the five years you mentioned at St. Olaf, 32-18 uh, record, 15-5 and five the last two years, um, in, in a challenging job. So we, we knew that coming in. Why, why were you interested in the Augustana job? Uh, to be honest with you, it's, it's a great fit. Uh, you know, I was very, very content at Olaf and, and had a wonderful experience and great contacts there. But to be at the scholarship level, be at a competitive, you know, I think the best league in the country, um, and to do that day in and day out and, and get a higher quality of athlete and, and, uh, and offer them some potential aid uh, to get their experience that I was providing at, at uh, St. Olaf. So uh, great community. I uh, love the college's mission, and I was incredibly impressed by both the facilities and the people that I met here. And, and the facilities are phenomenal, mm -hmm. uh, but the people I met here is what sold me on it, that you know, I can be me and we can do it my way, and we're going to be successful with the support around us. Well, we're glad you're here. Uh, tell us a little about your philosophy. Well, you know, football-wise, you, you know, I think football is football. You've got 11 guys on both sides of the ball that you can only do so much with. It's really about getting the buy-in from the kids. And, and that's the number one thing, I think, in coaching is you've got to show care. These, <clears throat> these kids got to know that you're there for them and that they're not going to ask them to do anything that you're not willing to do yourself. Uh, I won't be explosive. Uh, we're going to be disciplined. You know, we're going to do things the right way. We're going to build it from the foundation. Um, but I want to be, you know, fairly spread out offensively, and, and at times we're going we're gonna to get in and knock it in a little bit. Uh, defensively, same thing. You know, I want to be good in our front seven on both sides of the ball. To me, that's where games are won and lost and championships are made in the front seven because uh, we'll find enough skill kids in the perimeters. Um, and then the other third phase, you know, from a philosophy standpoint is the special teams. It's always been very important to me and I've won a lot of games and unfortunately lost a couple because of it. So um, we're going to put the best athletes in that scenario. It's the largest exchange of real estate in the football game and we're going to make sure that we do it right in all phases. Well, wonderful. And uh, we're looking forward to seeing the Vikings under Coach OJ, as he's called. Well, um, just got the job about a week ago. Uh, you hit the ground running here. What have you been doing? Well, you know, the transition is something that I've, I've done before. It's not my first rodeo, obviously, mm -hmm. when, you, when you have to go in and, and move from one place to another. Uh, it's as quickly as you can cultivate yourself into the, the, the current status of where things are at and, and learn the traditions and, and the things that are important for day-to-day -day operations. Um, just getting to know the staff currently, um, now I get elbow deep into recruiting. Right. You know, it's an immediate process. Uh, I'm up evaluating kids that, that we're on right now on film, uh, soon to reach out and go meet those families and meet those young men that will hopefully you represent Augustana College in the future. Uh, but it, it, it's going to take time to, to review all these kids, build relationships with them, get them on campus, uh, and, and then also you know meeting with our current guys. Mm -hmm. You know, I had a couple meetings with our players that that were now going home after finals for Christmas break, and we'll be back in J term, and building those relationships one at a time to make sure that we're doing it the right way and everybody feels valued in what we're doing. So a lot on the plate right now. January will be you know in the car and. Uh, and driving around the country uh, mm -hmm. to make sure that the kids see a face and understand that, that this is important to me and I want it to be important to their son, important to this young man uh, as, they, as they entertain the aspect of coming and be a, being a Viking. Yeah, well, it is great to have you at Augustana College, Coach. We're going to be talking a lot more as the days go on. And uh, again, good luck to you as head coach of the Augustana Vikings. Thank you, Bill. Hey, look, shooting star, make a wish. I wish we could lie here forever. I wish this test drive was over so we could head back to the dealership. It's practically yours. Test drive. But we still need your signature. Volkswagen Sign and Drive is back, and it's never been easier to get a Jetta. That's the power of German engineering.
With 25 years of experience and an outstanding trio of dentists, Doctors Birdall, Fayok, and Swingdorf, along with their caring team at Sensational Smiles, are passionate about developing long-lasting relationships. Sensational Smiles will partner with you to keep your teeth clean for a lifetime. Also check out our Cavity Free Club for Kids with Sammy, our mascot, at SensationalSmilesForYou.com. Call 332-4751 now for a sensational smile every day. He's got the strength and is making it look easy. Show renewed strength. Whether it's our physicians, therapists, or athletic trainers, Sanford offers the finest and most integrated orthopedic team and services around. There's nothing he couldn't lift right now. For the everyday competitor in all of us, Sanford Orthopedics and Sports Medicine. Meet Rob Moore from Aberdeen, South Dakota. As a Mid-Continent Service Manager, he makes sure our service techs have the tools to keep customers ahead of the technology game. Rob also keeps busy coaching youth football, teaching kids both the fundamentals of the game and good sportsmanship. Looks like Rob's a game changer in more ways than one. I'm Rob Moore, and we're good people here in Aberdeen. How do you hold a moment? friends and family close. Witness the passage of time. Replay the glory days. Relive magical nights. Create memories to share. How do you capture a lifetime? One picture at a time. Life Touch. Photography for a lifetime. Let's take a look at the Augustana sports calendar coming up. Viking student athletes and coaches are on a holiday break, but they wish you all a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. As we look ahead, here's Augustana sports action the first week of January, Friday, January 4th. Basketball teams are home against very good Minnesota State Mankato teams. The women tip off at 6 and the men at 8 at the Elman Center. That's Friday, January 4th. Saturday, January 5th, wrestling back in action at Concordia College up in Moorhead, Minnesota. Basketball back home again, doubleheader action against Concordia St. Paul. The women at 4, followed by the men at 6 at the Elman Center. And Sunday, January 6th, wrestling continues westward as they take on the University of Mary in Bismarck, North Dakota. And remember, Augustana Athletics information. The Augustana women's basketball games can be heard on KXRB AM 1000 and worldwide on the web at KXRB.com. And the Augustana men can be heard on KIKN FM 100.5 and worldwide at KIKN.com. And for complete information on Augustana athletics, go to our website, GoAggie.com, where you can also get tickets at GoAggie.com slash tickets. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again next week for another edition of Augustana Sports Scene. So long, everybody. You have been watching Augustana Sports Scene, a weekly review of Viking Athletics at South Dakota's largest private college. Learn more about Augustana College in Sioux Falls at augie.edu.